Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss the psychological theories of crime and deviant behavior. Is it something that has to do with our brain that triggers, that instigates or that motivates us for deviant behavior? Psychological theories suggest that criminal behavior is the result of mental, emotional or personality disorders. So in other words, it, is not, it has nothing to do with our external socialization, but rather it's more important that we should look into or look inside the brain and try to find out the reasons of committing crime or reasons of committing the deviancy. So very famous uh, psychologist Sigmund Freud psychoanalytic theory proposed that criminal behavior is the result of unresolved conflicts in the unconscious mind. It is not something that we are deliberately committing, rather it's our unconscious mind that is motivating us towards the criminal or antisocial behavior. Similarly, social learning theory suggests that individuals learn criminal behavior through observation and imitation of others. So these mental processes are instigated by these external factors. However, this mind becomes the ultimate source of committing this deviant behavior. In Pakistan, some research has linked the high levels of poverty and social inequality to the increased risk of psychological disorders and thereby the criminal behavior. So perhaps you would have heard the news about people who are committing suicide or killing, even killing their children due to the poverty or due to the lack of resources or due to the loss of, loss of their employment. So these kinds of uh, psychological disorders, these kinds of stresses are becoming more and more prevalent in Pakistani society because the more triggering factors, although they are external factors, However, they have a lot more significant impact on our psychological behavior. 